I started using Scratch in the year 2014 when I first entered into the classroom as a computing teacher, supporting other teachers with that. Uh, through Steam Labs Africa, we have trained thousands and thousands of students on how to code using Scratch. And Scratch has been the tool that you can rely on when it comes to introduction to coding. Steam Labs Africa is sold out when it comes to uh, making learning uh, interesting, uh, promoting experiential learning, lowering the age of innovation, and promoting and preparing our young people for, for the future of work. Through the Scratch Education Collaborative, we were trained, uh, empowered uh, through uh, various partners. There were partners from the Brazilian Learning Network, there were partners like Microbit Educational Foundation, and many others that were all looking at how we can bring in, uh, we can bring out, uh, I mean like creative coding, uh, but equitably this time, trying to reach every young person uh, in our continent, in our country, uh, through our organizations. And for us, through all that time, we were concerned about how learning is happening in Kenya. And with the CBC, we know that science and technology as a component on coding. And the last two chapters focus on uh, using of technology in grade four. In grade five, they introduce another topic on technology and in grade six, the same. And specifically for grade four, around that time, because in 2021 is when they the grade four book, uh, books were released, and then that's when we were talking about grade four. We felt that there was need for us to equitably empower our learners in our continent and in our country specifically. And that is why we thought about a toolkit or a resource that could be used by learners uh, in Kenya and beyond. Uh, with that then we thought, uh, we started having a conversations with Scratch Foundation on possibility of coming up with a resource in terms of a, in form of a book or booklet that could be used to teach coding uh, for any learner, whether it's from grade one, before they even become, uh, come to grade four in with using the competence-based curriculum, the CBC curriculum, to get it that uh, our students can actually use that resource even before. Uh, and then even when they are introduced at that time, they would be able to use that tool to bring out um, creative coding. The biggest challenge uh, when we're working with any uh, toolkit or resource uh, is to contextualize the same at the basis, to the basis of the learner that is going to, to use the toolkit or the teacher. At, that, at the beginning, we, we needed to engage learners, but the challenge is you cannot engage learners unless you are from the Ministry of Education. But then we tried to reach out to various parents, and parents were keen to support us and you know through our learning sessions that we do under Steam Labs Academy we were able to engage learners and identify what it is that they need and that way we built a course that was able to guide us uh, to you know to train our children based on their interest and their pace of learning and then the second challenge uh, has been you know getting uh, the right partners people to believe in what we are doing and that has been uh, something that we've been able to uh, find ways to work with uh, by engaging various partners. Now with that, we believe that the book is going to make, gain traction in the country and in the continent. The future of creative coding in Africa is bright. I say that because I believe in the African dream. This book that we're creating, uh, Creative Coding with Scratch, is just built on that dream that Africans young population is going to grow so as many students will be buying the book or the teachers or schools we are assured that uh, we're going to prepare our generation for impact and so this book stands uh, as, a, uh, as a pedestal upon which our students are going to gain a lot